Now again, let's have a detailed look on generic exceptions. You already know what generic exceptions are used for. They are used uh, whenever you are not aware about which type of exception can be thrown from the uh, try block. And if you're not aware about it, uh, all what you need to do is just create a catch block uh, with a generic exception. That is the super class exception. And it will catch all of the ex all, all of the different types of exception that might be thrown in the try block and you can handle it accordingly. Let's have a look at it again in the code. So if you do not know which exception might occur in the try block, then in that case, I'll generic, use generic exception. Generic exception, exception is a super class of all the exception classes, which can catch any type of, except, any type of exception. So yeah, exactly as I, as I said. And by the way, I said it all without looking into the laptop. So I know it, <laughs> forget it. Next, uh, try block over here and uh, We've got a list inside ACC list and all what we're trying to do over here is iterating it and uh, trying to access the value of number of employees field value, which is something that we have not queried inside uh, this query or which we have not mentioned inside this particular query. So this will return which type of exception? Can you guess? S object ex exception. So, but we are not sure that which type of exception it w might throw. So in that case, uh, we'll just leave it like this. We'll just write down catch exception E and uh, it's just gonna catch it and we'll handle it accordingly uh, as you have written inside this particular catch block. And that's all about generic exception that you need to know. And there's a note that we have also written down over here. Let's have a look what that says. Note, if you're using generic exception catch block, then make sure it is the last catch block in the list of catch blocks. Otherwise the catch block that you will write down after it will be never will never be executed and will be considered as unreachable code which is not allowed in apex like nostalgia <laughs> earlier also i said the same thing uh, it should be the last uh, catch block if you're using other type of exceptions as well uh, why because if you'll just write it down on the top or at any or at any other level other than the last level of catch uh, blocks which are available for a particular try block then the code or the catch block written after the exception, uh, after the generic exception one will be unreachable code and that is something which is not allowed in Apex. So it will throw an error and that will be a compile time error of course. So it will not allow you to save that program. Hence you should always and always make sure that uh, the generic exception is the last, is written in the last catch block in the list of catch blocks which are uh, used uh, into, into that particular class. Okay, now, Again, here we have got an example of it. Null pointer exception, DML exception, and exception. Uh, any any one of uh, these exceptions can be thrown. And the last catch block that we have over here is exception E, which is the generic exception. And the rest other ones are at, at an above, uh, or at a level which is above than the generic, uh, at a level which is above than the generic exception. So yeah, that's how it goes. I hope you got it.